Hello and welcome. I had a request from a Cameron Maxwell if I could explain how to wire up the fan motor. Now this is a first company 24HX10 240 volt system. Um, the question was how to do it. <clears throat> this particular unit is actually, um, I'm installing it today. So Cameron, you're in luck. Uh, you got three wires on your fan motor. You got a high speed, low speed, and a common. Your yellow wire is going to be your common. Red wire is going to be your low speed. Now on this particular unit, they are not using the low speed, which is okay. You don't have to. Low speed is mainly used whenever the heater is engaged. On this particular application, they are not using the low speed. Instead, they're using the high speed to run in the heater, which can be done as long as it is wired correctly. Then you got your high speed, which is your black wire. And if you ever get confused on the coloring, you can always go to the actual motor itself. There is a little, little diagram on there. You can see yellow, black, and red. You can see the little H which is representing high and L, which is representing low. These two wires cannot be energized at the same time. If they are energized at the same time, the motor will burn the windings and you will be replacing the motor, which you don't want to do on these. It's, it can be a little difficult and tricky to do these if, you, if you've never done one before. This is a double shafted motor, this particular setup. The, the wiring itself, you can kind of see here, you got your red wire, black wire, and yellow wire. And if you get lost, you always have a schematic. So keep in mind, you can see right here, fan motor, yellow, black, and red. And if you're not familiar with how to use a schematic, I'll show you real quick with my, my screwdriver. You got let me see. You got your yellow, black, and red. Yellow is going to be your common wire. Your black wire is going to come all the way over here. M1, that's your black wire, comes down and it goes to your fan relay. Now, if you're not familiar with how the fan re relay works, this particular circuit is normally open. And you got your red wire, which is for your low speed on your fan. Comes over. This fan relay is a normally closed fan relay, which means when energy is not coming to the 24 volt of the fan relay, it's not going, it's, it's gonna stay closed here. Whenever you energize the fan relay, it opens this circuit and closes this circuit, which will not allow voltage to go on the black wire and the red wire at the same time. It's kind of like a fail safe. It will not allow it to do it unless you wire something incorrectly. So whenever the fan is in heat mode, it uses the sequencers to allow voltage to go through this on the red wire to have to run your low speed. And only whenever you energize your fan relay does this wire close, or does this circuit close? Cooling is mainly, you want your highest, you want your, oh, what's going on? You want your highest amount of airflow going across that evaporator coil to properly unload it. Uh, it's also gonna make people extremely happy if you can do that. So your black wire comes up, oh, here we go. Black wire comes up, over, fan motor. Red wire comes up, there. And then you common ties into where all your commons tie in at. You can see like your 24 volts is tying in on the high side of that. And I'll just kind of show you right here real quick. You can kind of see, here's, here's your wire here that goes to this little block. And your red wire comes here. <clears throat> now this particular setup, you see how they have the red wire and the black wire coming off the fan relay? That is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. If you felt the need that you wanted to run your low speed on this particular setup, all you would do is you would cut this red wire here and tie it to this red wire here. Tie the two reds together, two blacks together, and your 
yellow wires back together and you'll have it set up. Um, it can run, it, it'll run high speed and low speed. Um, here in Louisiana, we don't really use a heater all that much. Today's about 98 degrees with about a 80% uh, humidity and it is hot outside. So anyone from Louisiana, they already know what we're dealing with. So we don't really use the heater all that much, but we definitely need the air conditioner and the high speed. Uh, Cameron, if you have any questions, uh, comment, you know, just, just shoot me a, a message and I'll, I'll hopefully this right here can kind of help you out. Um, I know on some other units, it might be wired differently, it might use different colors, but definitely if you, if you hopefully this, this helps. If you need anything, just uh, give me a shout. Thank you again, everyone, for watching. Cameron, I hope this helps. Have a good day.